How you doing? <sighs> Pretty good. <laughs> doing yeah, well. Wow. Well. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions, the Idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And today we are with uh, the Jimmy Cage channel, which includes Jimmy Cage and uh, Dennis the Buddy Meister, I believe is is what you are yes. lovingly referred to as, correct? <laughs> I love it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is our third time with him. If you haven't checked out their channel, go check them out. I'll, I'll link their channel in the description below. Uh, they do Indian, and I think you do... Indian, uh, Hollywood, and uh, just everything, right? German, I think. And so, yeah, sometimes European cinema as well, mm. whatever I like, whatever is uh, yeah. coming to theaters in Vienna. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so if you haven't, check them out. I'll link the description in the, their channel in the description below. We've done two other reviews with them. Padosin was the first one. Then we did um, uh, Tadapathy with uh, the Rajnikanth. And now we have watched Safrosh. Uh, the 1999 Hindi uh, action drama uh, starring uh, Amir Khan and Nasaruddin Shah and Sonali ben Bendri, I think. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And then directed by John Matthew, I wanted to say Manhattan, Mathen. Uh, <laughs> um, and also produced by him as well. Um, if you, if you haven't seen this film, go watch it. Um, cause this is going to be a hundred spent for all review because it came out in 1999. So I'm assuming most of you have seen it already. So let's start with you, Jimmy, please. What were your initial thoughts of the film? I would say mixed. Okay. I, I kind of enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I think it's a decent action movie. I think you have to you have to p keep in mind that it's already over 20 years old yeah. and uh, i don't think it's um it aged that well in mm. some regards especially when it comes to the action <laughs> um i enjoyed it fine i think i enjoyed parts of it more than than the movie as a whole i for example really enjoyed the performance by naziruddin shah i think he was probably the highlight for me in the movie i think the music is great the songs mm. are great even though I don't think they are really integrated that well into the whole narrative. Mm -hmm. But overall, I had an okay time with it. But gotcha. a little bit underwhelmed <laughs> after all the praise. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dennis? Yeah, I, I, I could say the same. Yeah, it's, a, it's an okay movie. It's all right. I, I liked a few things, but I think I didn't like a lot of things. So mm. um I, I think it's all right. It's 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 too long, but I think it's a bit silly at times. And I also agree that it didn't age that well. And there's also this kind of you can you can see the structure. This this Bollywood mass entertaining structure. You can see it every minute of this movie. Yeah. So it's 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 a bit it's a bit distracting. Yeah. How, it's all how the movie is structured in love, action, love. Then we get a song, and so so I'm, I'm I was not really in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's all right. I, I would still recommend it if you're an Amir Khan fan, or especially if you're a Nasiruddin Shah fan. Uh, but you have to be in the mood for this kind of '90s yeah. Bollywood action entertainer. Yeah. Rick. I'm gonna be accused of an Amir Khan bias for sure <laughs> because. <laughs> Because you do I went from liking it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, I went I went from liking it and I agree it has a it's it's long. But if you know that going in, if you know this is gonna be a long movie, it's like when you go into Lagan, you know you're gonna be here a long time. Um but I went from liking it to the last act of it I really liked. So this is actually of some of the classics we've seen, this is one I actually like a lot gotcha. more than some of the other ones. Yeah, uh, I'm probably in between a lot of you. Um, there were parts that I just I didn't understand even why they were. I didn't think they were actually needed. Um, but expect my favorite part was actually the the last scene, which with with Nasaruddin Shah and Amir Khan, that whole standoff thing. I thought Nasaruddin really shined in that scene. He uh, he showed why he's such a, a legendary actor in that scene. Um, and I, I loved his whole character throughout Nasaruddin's character. Um, 
And I, I actually enjoyed if it was if they would have stuck to mostly the cop stuff, I think I would have like um, praised it more. That like the, I didn't actually understand why the love interest was even there. Well, I know I know why it was there. It was '90s Bollywood. I get I know why it was there. It didn't further the story for me though. Like that no. the whole love interest didn't like I, it could have not been in there, and I think it would have been uh, actually an even better film. Um, even though I enjoyed the songs, we've reacted to, I think, three of the songs in this film, and they're all really nice songs, but it's, I, the whole love interest, just, it, it, I, I didn't care about it, I thought it was kind of in there just because they needed it for the 90s Bollywood, but yeah. I liked the, the rest of the cop stuff, I thought, even though the action was a little cheesy, uh, but for the 90s, uh, I thought they were pushing some boundaries sometimes, um, maybe a little Indiana Jones-esque with some of the kills that I really enjoyed, like when the guy yeah. got pushed into the back, into the spikes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, I, I would overall say I, I definitely enjoyed the film, but it was it, there was stuff that um, I think if it was made today, I don't think they would have, either they would have done it better or they would have not included it just because you needed it for the time. Um, but let's talk about the acting. I want to talk about Nasseruddin Shah. Because um, I think we all can agree he was fantastic in this, right? Yeah. Okay, yes. good. <laughs> I, I wanted to make sure I didn't have to kick somebody off here. Uh, Nasseruddin Shah, I, this is, I think, the first villain role Rick and I have seen him in. And even though he's not playing, like, a stereotypical villain, but I love that. I love that he, he had a lot of nuances to this character. Um, and you kind of find out, I don't know, maybe an hour in that he, he is the one that's kind of controlling everything and he's the mastermind behind it all. I thought he played it very subtly and that last scene was just so powerful with him uh, and him just, you know, um, you know, trying to not get caught. But then when he figures out that he is caught, trying not to die by the other person's hand and then it, that I thought it was absolutely brilliant. So I don't know what you thought, Jimmy. Yeah, I would agree. I think, I think it was maybe until halfway in that we finally um, get to know that he's the villain. Unfortunately, I was already spoiled because I read somewhere that he's uh, he's a terrorist or oh, no. that he's working for them. So I was spoiled. But the scene in which it is revealed is actually quite nice. It's the one with the little lamb, mm -hmm. with the little um, animal, and uh, it's it's quite shocking what, what he's doing because if someone isn't doing his job right, then there will be a punishment. And even with the little lamp, there's there's some punishment, and you can you can feel the tension when the the lamp is coming in, and he's just um, uh, performing his music, and then there's this this loud noises, and you you are afraid for for the lamp, and then when it's revealed what he has done to it, I was really kind of shocked. Yeah, and I have to say I was I was uh, also the beginning of the movie. I really liked the the montage in the beginning with the where we see the the gun trafficking, and then yeah. of course the terrorist attack. I was really positively surprised how violent the movie was yeah. i mean I'm, I'm always a fan if there are some um i, I think it's called squibs when there are these, oh. these, these gunshots <laughs> i'm always i'm always in for that so um yeah but nazarudin shah for me the, the highlight of the movie i think he he has such a great presence on the stage when we first see him when he's performing his music and then i like that they have this this kind of duel between Amir Khan and Nazirudin Shah, but it's it's not like a big action shootout duel, but two guys who are on different sides of the law, but only find out later, and now they have to deal with it, and I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool that it's he's such a restrained, <laughs> such a restrained villain who is very calm and quiet, and of course also that they kind of they they kind of build up this this friendship friendship with the music and all so that we really so that we really want want a showdown between the two of them it's it's really nice that it's so subtle yeah yeah right and i i gotta say he has never looked better and mm -hmm. he almost made me want to grow a beard that that was one <laughs> sexy looking beard and haircut man. he was just he looked so good and he does never he's one of the actors in indian cinema that just never gives a bad performance yeah and talk about Amir Khan, Rick. Yeah, I, I just I love Amir's emotional availability. We talk about a lot of the actors, and there's a obviously a, a, a very special place in my heart because when we started to watch Indian cinema, he was the first star that we really got to know and watch and appreciate. 
And I thought it says a lot about him that he held his own completely up against truly one of the great actors in cinema. Yeah. Uh, in that last that last scene between the two of them, when they're going back and forth, uh, I thought was to me the best part of the film for me was watching those two yeah. and the script that was given to them for those lines. I just felt like that was really really strong. Yeah. You, uh, Dennis and uh, Ed Jim, if you guys want to talk about uh, Jan, uh, uh, Amir or any other actors as well, just go on. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I I. Also, always liked it when they are both on screen, but I have to give a shout out to Makrant Deshpant, who plays Shiva, he's the right hand. He's yeah. the one who gets pushed into the spine. Yes. Um, we also know him from Satya, I think. Yeah. Satya, he kind of played the same role. He's the, the henchman. Yeah. And uh, I, li- I like him. I like him very much. This movie reminded me a bit of Satya. If you, if you really, if you had pulled all this love stuff out, like you said, Corbin, mm-hmm. it would have been a little bit like Satya. Not, not as good as Satya, but. Yeah. It had this. It had this vibe, and it also speaks for Makran Teshpan's character that he gets such a cool death scene. It's always <laughs> kind of an honor for a character if he has to go in a cool way, and I liked him very much. So he had this this um, this threatening feel to him in the, when he's on a motorcycle and riding over Amir Khan's leg or <laughs> or stabbing or stabbing the other guy through the neck uh, in, in the car on the street. It's also a very, very cool scene, yeah. Amir Khan's yeah. uninjurable leg. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> thing got yeah. either ran over or shattered multiple times yeah. and the next <laughs> scene he would just walk it off like a champ. Yeah. <laughs> It's also great that the that the doctor in the hospital says that he lost so much blood. <laughs> he they can be happy that he that he lives. And it's I, I was asking myself how, when where. <laughs> but, right. but it was this it was this mixture of kind of gritty and I mean there are there's a very serious topic with the with the tensions between India and Pakistan. Yeah. And it has shades of being kind of a realistic movie, but mm-hmm. then there's so much genre action maybe even schlock in there yeah and some of it and enjo- i enjoyed but some of it i was just baffled by yeah. and it was i was constantly on board and then it was too ridiculous for me <laughs> and i think a lot of the action there there's this action scene in the middle of the movie that i think was actually nice it, it was the one where the, the motorcycle is um, running over his leg in the end i think yeah. that that scene was all right but some of the action felt kind of unintentionally funny to me. Mm. I mean, I think a big reason are the sound effects. There are so many sound effects that are really <laughs> over the top. Yeah, and, and when, when people are falling down, there is this, this flat sound. Even in the very end, when, when Nazirul yeah. Shah's character commits suicide, it's a tragic scene, but then he falls to the ground and it's... <laughs> and, yeah. I don't know, it, it took, took me out of the movie several times. It, yeah, I, I, but on I, the other I hand, love... some of it I enjoyed. When when Amir Khan in the hospital is kind of uh, no, you don't tell me what to do, and he's just yeah. jumping up and <laughs> tries to fight the guy, even though he is in a in a casket still. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love I love the standard Foley sound for feet. It doesn't matter if they're on sand, wood, grass. Yeah. It's that standard. They didn't even do Foley work. They just took recorded Foley sounds of feet. Yeah. <laughs> you, always a, you always get a screeching tires from the cars. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, tires, yeah. No matter what. Yeah, yeah that's, that's one of the, the, the places in the film that definitely, I think, showed it's the date uh, of the film. Is the, the Foley work was very evident uh, in either the screams, the just the punching sounds for everything, the yeah. uh, the the kind of pew pew sounds for the guns, um, and all uh, the the walking, like you guys said, I think that that was the part of the film that definitely showed its date the most. Um, and and I agree, there was some times that I was just like, oh my word! And this film, I don't know if you would call it a masala, but it definitely had a bunch of different genres in it. Yeah, that sure. I th- I think if Amir was making this film now, he wouldn't do that because I know this yeah. is kind of like the film that kind of catapulted him into like what he likes to do now like one film at a time usually stuff that has like a message um and i think i don't know if it was this one or earth that he he only did sync sound um after so i I can't remember if this is before after earth um Mm. but i think if the if it was done now it might have been a little different i don't know how you guys felt uh maybe I, i know how jimmy and dennis how did you feel about the songs in the love interest rick 
I well, first of all, Sonali I think is beautiful and oh, yeah. adorable and and uh, just I believed in the chemistry that they had. Um, I I like the songs. Yeah. Um, it's what I anticipated from this time in Indian cinema. So if I was measuring it by today's standards, it would seem a little bit odd to me. It would be like, why did you even put that in there? But yeah. I and, and I agree with you that you could remove it and still have an intact story. I don't think that their love story was a required element, but yeah. I, 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 I liked the, their love story being yeah. in it. Yeah. Yeah. For and, me, it was a little bit like I watching two movies and yeah. they didn't always blend together, but it was also, of course, completely reasonable because of the time and the commercial uh, yeah. requirements. But um, yeah, she's also the one she's also the one that brings uh, a lot of comedy into the movie because otherwise I don't think there is much comedy but no. whenever she's there there is some funny dialogue and uh, I really I, when she's finding out that he's actually a police officer and I think we lost yeah hold on we lost there. Rick hey man welcome back <laughs> welcome back <laughs> I'm, I'm taking everything hope, hope back I, I love the movie so oh we didn't we didn't talk about you were, you were saying something Jimmy go ahead I was just saying I, I really uh, enjoyed the part where she's finding out that he's actually a police uh, inspector and he's just beating up this guy on the street. <laughs> it was really, really funny. Her, yeah. her, character, her, her character also helps in the way that we, um, that we see Amir Khan doing uh, the hard-boiled cop but also the, the lovable guy. So it, it, it shows his two sides so he can mm. be charming and... and and nice, but also this. And, and this film did um, obviously post, especially for the time, almost an important message of uh, to the mainstream of one the India Pakistan, but also the Muslims in India uh, and how they're viewed. Uh, and I know that was like a, a this film was big for that reason as well. It was kind of almost it, you didn't that subject matter wasn't touched upon a lot. Uh, at least in a mainstream film, uh, that's what I was told. Also, uh, did you did you enjoy our cameo uh, from our dost? <laughs> sure did. Uh, no. Yeah. No. No. Nawaz. No. 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 Uh, um, Nawaz no uh, and Sadiqi. Yeah. 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 It took it yeah, took yeah. me a, it took me a second, but then I I made a screenshot and <laughs> yeah <laughs> directly to Jimmy telling him hey that's his first role yeah his yeah. first role yeah. also credit apparently uh, Amir didn't know he it was uh, Nawaz <laughs> yeah <laughs> when he when he apparently met Nawaz on uh, Talash uh, and I think Nawaz was like thank you so much for hiring me again and he was like what, what you... <laughs> <laughs> I also, and apparently I, also I read that he was. Yeah, Go ahead. You probably read it, Jimmy. Say it. Say it. Yeah. Uh, I read that he was only in the movie because the other guy who was supposed to play the role didn't show up, and so <laughs> yes. it was his chance. <laughs> yeah. <Nice>. Well, I <laughs> so I did a career. I did see that scene was actually added a couple other scenes that scene and like two others because apparently when audiences first saw this, uh, the test screenings they were like, uh, I thought it was a cop movie and they didn't. They were like, "Where's where are all the cops?" And Amir's like, what are you talking about? There's like, <laughs> the cops are throughout this entire film. And so Everybody. apparently they didn't, to the to the audiences at that time, they didn't pick up on that, that these were cops uh, somehow. I have no idea how. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, but I did, um, uh, what, what it, uh, Jimmy, any other thoughts on the film before we? Uh... Uh, I think we should also mention um, Mukesh Rishi. He's playing Inspector Salim. Mm -hmm. I think up until that point, he was only playing villain roles, I read on, on IMDb. And um, I actually like this kind of, it wasn't really a buddy cop movie, but there were hints of that in there. Because he was, in the past, he was the superior to Amir Khan's character, I think. And now because because he got his partners killed, uh -huh. when he was uh, going after Sultan, which was really, really clumsy, in my opinion. <laughs> um, <laughs> And uh, he thinks, of course, because he's a Muslim, that he got uh, off the case. And I think it's a little bit heavy-handed his reaction to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But I like the the I, maybe I like the idea more than the execution in the movie. Yeah. But he grew on me. The character grew on me. Yeah. Absolutely, Dennis. Anything else that you wanna? 
Uh, well, um, I think I, I, I kind of liked how the city of how the the city of Mumbai or the streets were also were incorporated in the movie. There are a lot of chase sequences in the streets and through the houses, and you see uh, the, the um, sometimes you see the camera from up on, up from a ceiling looking down into the streets. I like the way the city was integrated. We we don't see that much, but it's it's kind of cool. It gives this movie this gritty feel. Again, it felt like Satya in a way. I, the whole movie reminded me of Satya mixed with uh, a Mani Ratnam movie. We also, we also had all those movies that um, 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 thematically were about Pakistan and India. And it always reminded me of this, like this mixing of the two. But yeah, I liked I liked how the city was integrated. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah, some of my favorite takeaways from it. You had mentioned this earlier, Corbin. I appreciated and wasn't expecting the the gruesomeness of the violence yeah. that was involved. It was pretty it was pretty brutal for the day for a, a Bollywood kind of film. And I really liked the message that was at the end, which again is an Amir Khan thing that I adore. There's always this moral to the story. And one of the big takeaways at the end was among the many reasons for partition, the British wanted to weaken that region of the world. Uh, when they left to make sure that they couldn't compete and i loved that conversation they had about you know this is a this is we shouldn't be doing this to each other i think that's probably my favorite thing about the film is that that message that it had within it and again i i as much as the foley work was bad on some of the stuff i i, I appreciated there were some good stair falls by the stunt team. I mean, there were some pretty cheesy sound effects, but yeah. there were some yep. pretty good stunt work uh, by the stunt team. So yeah. uh, all in all, I probably liked it the most of everybody, but I've got an undeniable thing. <laughs> well, we've we've probably seen a good 12 Amir Khan films. How many have you guys seen? Good question, but maybe also in the region over, About 12. over 10 for sure. Yeah, yeah three well, idiots, what, PK, Lagan. What would be your favorite Amir Khan and where would this rank? Go ahead, Jimmy, you go first. For me, unfortunately, pretty low, I think, because uh -huh. I don't remember having seen a bad Amir Khan movie. I think my favorite is probably PK, okay. because I really thought the, the, the approach to religion in that movie was really bold and, in, and interesting. Yeah. And it was really funny. The songs were, were fantastic. This whole idea with the alien coming to Earth and finding out about the, the different religions, I really enjoyed that. So I think PK is my favorite, and I have to think if I've seen any Amir Khan movie that I didn't like. Not sure. Yeah, Did Dennis. I think I think I, uh, if I remember correctly, with <laughs> I like Tar Tare Zamin Par very much. It's the movie yeah. where he's mm -hmm. the teacher. Yeah. And he teaches this yeah. this this kid about uh, following your dreams. It's a bit cheesy at times, but I I remember that I liked it liked it very much, and I, I liked him in that role because he. Everything that he stands for, he puts into this character that he plays in this role, and I, I like that very much. Yeah. Yeah, Rick. Yeah, you know me, Corbin. It's still, <laughs> it's still, and may always be PK. I, yeah. I, I love PK. I do. You know, I'm, I'm with you, Jimmy. I have yet to see a, a Amir Khan film that I don't like. Yeah. Um, mine is probably either Lagan or Rang de Basanti. Uh, one, I like the the difference of Rang de Basanti for Amir Khan. I like. Uh, that twist on on normal even though his performance in like dongle was great uh, i love mm -hmm. his performance in dongle um but yeah it's probably one of those two lagan is a, a film uh, i obviously just really really enjoy but i think my favorite performance is probably yeah it's probably rang Vasanti just because of how different it was um in comparison to everything else because i think pk three uh Three Idiots. Um, I think there's like one other. They're very, very similar, but those are the first ones we've seen. But I love those films. Those films are absolutely fantastic. So it speaks the fact that we've all seen like 12 and none of them are bad. Uh, even this one, if you, if, even if you didn't like it, I don't think you can call it a bad film. No, uh, no, no, I, it, definitely not. Um, but it's, it's, even if it's lower, it's just they're all good films. And I'm sure he's done, I mean, he's done Doom films. So yeah. I, I, I haven't seen those. So I don't know how those are. Uh, oh no, I know he's done the Thugs the of Hindustan. Thugs of Hindustan. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I haven't seen that one. Yes, we neither. We had the opportunity to watch, to watch it in the theater, it. but we. Didn't yeah. go. I have not heard good things. Uh, 
about that film. So uh, let us know what the next Amir Khan film we should watch is and the next film that we should all review together is. And once again, go subscribe to Jimmy Cage channel. It's in the description below.